is this beautiful work of art of a little boy looking at a painting, doing in this back street in the Dutch town of Leiden? It has everything to do with perhaps the most famous Dutch painting in the world, the Night Watch. Yes, you are right. We are standing here on the exact birthplace of none other than the painter Rembrandt. Come and follow us through the authentic Dutch town of Leiden and look around the place where the world-famous artist spent his early years. Rembrandt's story starts at the beginning of the Dutch Golden Age, when prosperity increased considerably due to sea shipping. On the wall we see that here, on this side of the water, on the spot where a statue of a boy looking at a painting now stands, Rembrandt van Rijn was born in 1606 as the son of a relatively wealthy miller. The statue depicts a young Rembrandt looking at a self-portrait of the painter that he will one day become. With his mill the Ryan that once stood exactly on this spot, his father ground flour for the beer brewers in the city. The mill you see on the other side of the water is a wooden replica from 1987 of exactly the type of mill owned by Rembrandt's father. Let's cross the bridge and take a closer look. This bridge is also a replica from the 1980s, which, just like the original bridge from the 17th century, can be lifted with the wooden counterweights. And as we cross it, I suspect that you can guess what the bridge is called. You are standing on the Rembrandt Bridge, Try to imagine that on this bridge, an angry mother Rembrandt almost certainly once shouted at her six-year-old son to come in for dinner. And if you know that the river you cross here is the Rhine, you immediately know the Dutch translation of the name of the river. Rembrandt's full name is Rembrandt from the Rhine. Once you get to the other side, it is noticeable that even though the mill is not large, the original must have been even more impressive in the 17th century. The standard Morland is one of the oldest Dutch windmill types, which first emerged around the year 1000. The name comes from the standard, the pole in the middle, that ensures that the mill can be turned very quickly and easily towards the wind. The original mill dates from 1619, but burned down several times. Nothing remains of Rembrandt's father's original mill, except this map of the city from around 1600, where you can clearly see the mill next to another mill. Rembrandt's mill, which once stood on the other side of the water, brought prosperity, and his father could afford to send his son to Latin school. This was a predecessor of our current grammar school. It was housed in a typical old Dutch house that is still standing and can be visited within a 10 minute walk. Yes, the walls of this old building will undoubtedly have been touched by the fingers that would later paint the night watch when Rembrandt went to school here between the ages of 10 and 14. In this building, he also received his first painting lessons from teacher Henricus Rieverlink. And behind its windows lies a surprise. Rembrandt's spirit has not completely left here yet. Anyone who stands in front of the window here can have themselves sketched in Rembrandt style for free and later download the sketch from the website. Nearby you will also find the young Rembrandt studio, housed in the building where his second teacher Jacob van Swanenberg taught him to draw until he was 17. Yes, that's right. You are standing here in front of the house in which Rembrandt painted his first real paintings and perhaps also the stoning of St. Stephen, the first known signed painting of his from 1625. And this painting is also special because he probably painted himself in it. Just above St. Stephen, you probably also see his first self-portrait, so that you can imagine what the young Rembrandt looked like when he lived and worked in Leiden from 1625. 
Fans of his work in Leiden should definitely visit the Lake and Hall, a museum on one of the canals, because this is where his oldest known work can be admired. The Glasses Cellar, or the site, was painted by him at the age of 18 in 1624, but it was not yet signed by him. It is part of the five-part series The Senses, with hearing, feeling and smell, all of which hang in New York. The fifth and final panel, The Taste, remains untraceable to this day. Rembrandt exhibitions with works from all over the world are often held here in the Laken Hall, so the museum is definitely recommended. For Rembrandt, Leiden was mainly the city of his younger years, where he mastered the painting trade until the age of 25. In 1632, he left for prosperous Amsterdam, where he would paint the night watch ten years later. How would the mother of the six-year-old boy who played outside here around 1612 have reacted if she had known that 400 years later, her son's painting would be one of the most famous in the world? And for all of us, the miller's son, from this then small town, proves that those who chase their dreams can actually achieve them. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.